My name is Gary Whitman. Today, I'm going to read a story, a chapter one, to a story called Fifth Grade Timothy Bottom Rules. This is one of three books that talks about how a child can overcome having the problem dealing with bullies. I was a special education teacher for 33 years and in 2007 I retired and I was also teacher of the year for the state of Indiana from the Learning Disability Association. I've been a professional storyteller for over 30 years and that has transcribed into some bestsellers in the children books uh, in the Amazon.com. I'm very proud of the children books I have written and many other books I have written. Dealing with bullies in the classroom is a very tough situation, not only from parents, but teachers, but from the students. I can remember many days a student coming into my classroom and crying and telling me their story about somebody in the hallway picking on them. And then we would listen carefully. I might suggest something on how what they could do to help. Sometimes basically just a hug and just sit and listen. During those 33 years I've been lucky to pull my notes together and I've written three books. One's called Fifth Grade Dragon Master, Fifth Grade Monster School, and the book I'm going to read chapter one in today is called Fifth Grade Timothy Bottom Rules. Let me give you some background on that book which I'm going to read today. Just to chapter one. Timothy Bottom is a fifth grader. Fourth grade was not even very good for him then, and much less going into fifth grade. His older brother is getting ready to go out to the armed services. Like many of you, you might have parents, mothers, fathers, older brother, older sister going off to serve in the uh, armed service. How do you deal with that? younger sibling who worries about their brother, sister, mother, father in the armed service. So this is a great book to hand your child on how they might deal with uh, those worries or overcoming a bully at home or at school, in the community. You can write a note to your child in the book or reach out to me and be happy to autograph it and we'll work out some way to get it to you. I've had many organizations order large volumes of all three of the books and give them out to children in a fifth grade. Excellent source for helping your children. Timothy Bottoms, again, fifth grade. He's about two feet shorter than all the other boys in the class. He also stuttered, which didn't help Timothy Bottoms any because Devin, the bully, teased him constantly, all the time. I'd like for you to think of being Timothy Bottom. How would you handle that situation? You know, Things I talk to when I talk to teachers, stand outside your school uh, door, your classroom door, watch the hallway. Uh, for Timothy, that's one of the tricks that he used. If Devin was picking on him, he kind of went right toward a classroom door and kind of waited till that last minute when that bell would ring. Now, yes, he would be late for class, but you know what? He was a little safer as a result. Sometimes, and I told this to my students, if somebody's picking on you and you can't get away, walk into the classroom if there's a teacher present and just have a seat. 
and tell them, I want to see, would you get a hold of Mr. Whitmer? We had buzzers and our phones in our rooms. So and many times, you know, I would walk down to the classroom and walk my student back to my room. Just be there with that child. Be an ear. Listen to their problems. Timothy Bottom needed that. So let's begin. Um, and I encourage you to buy the book. Again, you can find it on Amazon. And I'd like to read to you chapter one. Make this year different. Timothy tried to concentrate on the cups in front of him. But it was difficult with his older brother whistling and tossing clothes on the bed. Normally, Timothy could focus all of his attention on the stacking game. He simply zeroed in on the blue cups as he laid them out. Four cups for the base of the pyramid, three cups for the second row, then two cups, then the last cup. Build up the stacks, then quick as a jet, streaking through the sky, collapse all the cups into one neat pow. Bang! Done! He could do it in three seconds flat. But this time, oh, as he placed each cup, the words leaving tomorrow and enlisted kept pounding in his ears. It was distracting. When I get home, you'll probably hold the world record for cup stracking, Timothy brother Michael said. He plopped down on top of the bed and grinned at Timothy. Timothy scowled and swiped at the cups. Summer was ending and fifth grade started in three days. And Michael was leaving for a year. Timothy still couldn't believe he had gone and enlisted in the army. He stared at the floor for a second and then at Michael. Who, who, who is going to protect me, me, me when you're g gone? Timothy asked. His face glowed red. He hated when he stuttered around Michael, but he hated it even more when it happened around the kids at school. It didn't happen all the time, but the kids acted like it did, and they weren't exactly understanding about it. One day in fourth grade, Devin and his goons had followed Timothy around the playground, stuttering the whole time. It didn't matter that Timothy didn't say anything or hadn't even been stuttering that day. By the end of recess, he was in tears, and his voice failed him for the rest of the day. Michael sat on the floor. Next to Timothy, you'll be fine, he said. You are smart, talented, funny kid, and just because you may struggle to talk sometimes doesn't mean you are any less of a person. Don't let anyone otherwise tell you differently. Timothy shrugged. Yeah. But it doesn't help that I'm short, too. Timothy had been born six weeks early, which led to some complications. The grown-ups way to say it was he had a speech impediment and stunted growth. But the way Timothy saw it, he couldn't talk right. And he was a shrimp. Everyone else in the class was shooting up, and he was barely four feet tall. The shortest kid in the fifth grade. By far. Michael jumped to his feet and puffed out his chest. Yeah, hey, you're growing. 
pretty soon you'll be as tall as me. I'll probably won't even recognize you when I come home. Timothy chuckled and, and shook his head. He gathered his stacking cups and Michael pulled him to his feet. Do you really have to go? Timothy said. Timothy knew this was what Michael had always wanted to do. But he didn't understand why. The military was dangerous. Michael could get hurt or worse. Timothy sh shivered. He didn't know what he'd do if Michael didn't come home. Michael knelt down, wrapped his strong arms around Timothy's small shoulders, and squeezed him tight. Timothy squeezed back while trying to keep the tears of his, in the corner of his eyes right there where they belong. It felt so wrong to be saying goodbye to his brother. One year, Michael said, looking Timothy right in his blue eyes. It's only for one year and I will be coming home. I have to see you win that cup stacking world contest and break the record, right? Michael said, shrugging him in the shoulder. Very lightly. Timothy wrinkled his nose. Yeah, and maybe I'll grow two feet and s s stop stuttering too. He said and then grinned. It could happen, Michael said, and Timothy rolled his eyes. But seriously, T-Man, make this year different. Don't let the police get you down. They aren't even worth your attention. You, Michael said, poking Timothy in the chest are too good for them. Timothy rubbed his chest. Maybe Michael was right. Maybe Michael would come home safely in one year. And maybe Timothy's school year could be different. But how? How could that happen? What will happen during the school year? How will Timothy's fifth grade turn out? For you to find out, buy the book, Fifth Grade Timothy Bottom Rules by Gary Whitman on Amazon now and find out what happens. I have two other books in this series. One's called Fifth Grade Dragon Master. I love that one. Whole different ideal about how to deal with bullies. And the other book in the series is called Fifth Grade Monster Schools. And if you like um, werewolves, zombies, um, ghosts, witches, and even humans at a school, then this is one of those books you will definitely enjoy. I want to reach out to you and tell you, have a great day. I hope to see and hear from you soon. Thank you. Bye-bye. Take care. Love you.